Hello, I'm Rebecca Vaughn. It's Sunday, April 14th. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. Cedar Rapids police have issued an Operation Quick Find for a 14-year-old girl. Officials say Lexi Dale was last seen Friday around 2 p.m. on 12th Avenue in Cedar Rapids. She was wearing black leggings, a red hoodie, and black shoes, but she has access to other clothing. Police describe her as white, 5 foot 4, and 150 pounds. Officials say she has a birthmark on her left cheek, and there are concerns about her mental health. Police say she could be heading to San Diego, California. Anyone with information on her location is asked to contact police. An Indianapolis man has been sentenced to 10 years in prison after pleading guilty to a robbery charge. That's according to court documents. 27-year-old Kenneth Reed was arrested in June last year in connection to the fatal shooting of 31-year-old Lonnie Burns of Dubuque in February 2023. Reed was initially also charged with first-degree murder in the case. That jar charge was dropped after Reed took a plea deal, pleading guilty to the lesser charge of second-degree robbery. One person has died and several others are hurt after a UTV accident in Muscatine County last night. Authorities say a side-by-side -side was traveling north on Burlington Road in Muscatine around 8 last night when it hit a deer. The UTV left the roadway and rolled multiple times before coming to rest in a ditch. One person died and three others were taken to a local hospital with injuries. Iowa State Patrol says the crash is under investigation. Saturday, around 100 people gathered in downtown Iowa City to protest the closing of a University of Iowa program designed to help victims of sexual assault. Last week, the University of Iowa announced it would be dissolving its rape victim advocacy program. The university has said none of RVAP's services will go away when the program is set to end later this fall. The Iowa City-based nonprofit Domestic Violence Intervention Program will step in and provide a crisis line, access to sexual assault resources, and more. The people on campus are worried this change will make it harder for students who need help to get it. The organizer of the protest says it's important to continue providing access and support for all. That it wasn't just cishet white women that we saw making statements. It was everybody making statements. And unfortunately, um, male victim survivors of abuse go completely unnoticed. Um, trans people go completely unnoticed. Another concern is that DVIP wouldn't have the ability to provide the same level of service as RVAP. But DVIP's executive director says the organization is already working to increase staffing and funding, so it's prepared for the additional need. Uh, I think the most important thing is that victim survivors um, that are in our communities throughout the eight counties um, know that services are not disappearing. They are not being absorbed. They are being moved. And that means that services will be available uh, in the same fashion that they have been. According to the University of Iowa, services will still be provided by the university until September 30th when they will complete the transition to be fully under DVIP. And starting today, the eastbound I-80 entrance ramp at the West Branch Interchange will be closed for construction crews to work on the new eastbound I-80 alignment. Drivers will follow a detour west on I-80 to the Herbert Hoover Highway, Cedar Johnson County Road F44 to access eastbound I-80. Work is expected to last until mid-November of this year. And a local print shop in Perry is honoring the late high school principal Dan Marburger. He was killed during the deadly school sh shooting at the school in January. For months, for months, employees at Atelier in, at 1109 in downtown Perry have been working around the clock filling orders to make t-shirts with a special message. These t-shirts have the words, Be a Dan, embroidered on the front. It's the store owner's tribute to Marburger and his family. She says the proceeds go to a scholarship fund set up for his grandchildren. She shares what the phrase, be a Dan, means to her. You are a hero. You're a good person. You're a leader. You want to do good. You want to um, be kind. Eklund says it's a reminder of Marburger's spirit, one the Perry community won't soon forget. So far, they've raved, raised over $1,000. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.